Cupcake Wars, and now this Marietta Bakery owner is making her way on the cooking channel, appearing in Cake Hunters. That's right, the Mamie Doyle, the baker known for her extraordinary cupcake flavors, unique pastries, and cakes, joins us with a wonderful summer fresh fruit tart recipe that will leave you salivating. I'm already ready to just take mm -hmm. down all of this. But we'll start one fruit at a time here. What do you have here? Awesome. Well, this is our um, cream cheese tart, mm -hmm. and we're going to show you how to make it okay. today. Um, we're going to start with the cream cheese. Of course. Um, and we're going to beat that. This is two pounds of cream cheese that I have oh, wow. cut up in sections. And tell me what kind of fruit are we going to be adding to this? Because I know um, you said summer using, fruits are yes. going to be so the key we're, here. We're using just an assortment of all the lovely summer fruits that are in season right now. Okay. So we have um, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, oranges, um, nice. kiwi, you name it. So we're going to go ahead and beat the cream cheese. So how long should this take from start to finish oh, if this we're is, doing it for TV? <laughs> this is really not, not that difficult of a dessert. It would be something that somebody could probably make in maybe 20 minutes at home. The crust itself for the tart shell takes a little bit longer, sure. but this is something that would be Some easy. Some folks might cheat and just buy that and, and right. bypass that yes, process. that's true. But why fruit tarts? What is it about uh, fruit tarts? Well, we we love to make the fruit tart, and it's one of our hottest sellers at the bakery um, in the summer, especially because of all the beautiful fruits that are in season. So. All right. And while you're doing this, let's yeah. talk about the show. I mean, obviously, um, you enjoy baking, you enjoy sweet treats, but there's a little bit of a com competition in you, a little competitive nature yeah. in you. Uh, what's it like competing on these shows under this pressure uh, with something that you just you love doing so much? I do love to do it and it seems like when the show happens we're kind of like in the zone. Right. Um, it is it was very stressful mm -hmm. um, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. I'm wondering for us. but does that stress does it make you think do you ever think oh my gosh this is sort of taking away with from Oop. just sort of the fun part of it. That's all right make a mess. <laughs> make a mess. It's, we're making <laughs> Sweets. It's supposed to be messy. Sorry. <laughs> does it get a little intense? It does. Um, it, there's a lot to think about when you're when you're you know on TV and you have the oven's going off and the timer's going and right. there's, you're trying to make three different recipes at once. Do you find that your uh, finished product doesn't always come out exactly the way you had envisioned it, even though that's the bottom line, that right. the finished product has to look like something that makes the judges go, wow? Yeah, well, it kind of, it seems like it's a process like in most art forms where you have an idea in your head and you start start the way you think that it's going to go and then it ends something to totally different but gotcha. it's about the process so. okay so as we, you take us more through this process i'm wondering what have you learned about yourself what have i learned about myself yeah um how has this expanded your talents um it definitely i started the business about seven years ago so okay. it um I, I feel like it grew up fast yeah. and i learned a lot about what i'm capable of mm -hmm. um and i guess Really, it's about the team at Miss Mamie's. Everybody that works there, we all just pull together and we make it. We make it happen. So. Right. All right. We've got um, the tart filling is done, so it's just the cream cheese and um, vanilla, um, heavy whipping cream, and powdered sugar. So we can go I'm ahead and make, fill. Yeah, that'd I'm be doing great. Need these right here. Thank you. What are these made of? Tell me it's just so all this sugar, is, brown yeah, sugar, and this sweet is, stuff. And um, I'll smile. Our tart shell. It's um, got butter and flour and eggs and a little bit of actually vodka to make it flaky. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. It's uh, Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Getting started early. Mm -hmm. So. And so just yeah. one scoop will do? Yeah. Um, we might do maybe a couple scoops. Okay. This one's a smaller scoop, so. I'm just gonna fill that up. To How the much top. is too much? Well, no such thing. Okay. <laughs> until it fall, until <laughs> it starts overflowing. The baker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll just spread that, and then you can top it with whatever fruits you have available. Mm -hmm. And your favorites are here? Um, the ch fresh cherries are definitely my favorite. And there's all kinds of them in the stores right now. Um, the dark red ones and the black cherries as well as the fresh red ones. All right. So. Any fruit that doesn't really work for this, or is there anything that really should just stay off a tart, just doesn't work, it doesn't blend? Um, I mean, most fruits are soft that you use on a tart, mm -hmm. so a lot of berries, you wouldn't want to use like an apple, unless you right. poach it. You can poach pears and an, or an apple and mm -hmm. then use that um, 
on the tart, but you don't want anything like any Thing too hard or crunchy. Gotcha. All right. Well, while you finish that one up, I'm going to show you the uh, finished product here. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like you put a little um, of glaze here. But your cupcakes, obviously, that's what everybody is talking about. Tell yes. us about these cupcakes right here. This is what got you uh, a thumbs up, right? Yeah. So this is one of the flavors that we made. It's actually the flavor that we made on Cake Hunters on the Cooking Channel. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a um, beer stout cake filled with a salted caramel and it has a cream cheese filling or cream cheese mascarpone cheese um, frosting. Okay. Yeah, so that's one of our one of our best sellers at the shop as well. Well, I mean, since it's sitting here, I mean, you know, the right yeah, thing to, to do eat, would be for it. me to just go off of my diet and just tell my trainer not to watch <laughs> because you won for a reason, let's say. Mm. Mm. I get Is it, it good? Does mm -hmm. it live up to its Absolutely. name? I get awesome. it. You had me at the frosting and then got in here. Mm -hmm. Good deal. So I'm going to try to get through this here. For more information on Miss Mamie's or today's recipe, click on the viewer information story on the Fox 5 Atlanta app. On the top